Hello all DAV students. Today we are starting with the class 8 topic pollution of air. Before starting with the real topic we must be familiar with this word pollution. From childhood only you must have listened this word so many times in a day from your surroundings, from your parents, from your neighbors, from your teachers. But what is pollution? Pollution it is derived from the Latin word pollutionium and which means to make dirty. Pollution can be of various types. All the environment, if it is getting dirty, we call it as a pollution. Example, it can be air pollution, it can be water pollution or it can be soil pollution. But today our main concern is pollution of air. Pollutant, what is a pollutant? It is a substance present in the environment in proportion greater than its natural abundance. That means if the substance is present more than the required proportion in the nature, then also we will call it as a pollutant. Or it can be any undesirable substance added to the environment which will make us, all of us, uncomfortable not safe and unhealthy, then we will call that substance as a pollutant. In reference to the topic of the chapter, we will concentrate over here for air pollution. What is air pollution? Air contamination by unwanted or undesirable substances having harmful effects on both living as well as non-living things. Air pollutants, which is the substances that contaminate air. Air pollutants are, there are so many air pollutants around us. We will study them one by one. But before that, we must know the causes of air pollution. There are three main causes of air pollution. First one, excessive burning of fossil fuels. That means any type of fossil fuel, if you will burn, example, LPG, LPG, diesel, petrol, coal, wood or it can be wood also which is not a fossil fuel of course. It will lead to air pollution. Smoke from the factories and the vehicles that is also a main cause of air pollution. And the last one use of some harmful substances by human beings like CFC. It is also a cause of air pollution. Now we will concentrate mainly on the uh, four air pollutants over here which are described in your book also. The first uh, air pollutant is carbon monoxide. Before if you want to understand the effect of carbon monoxide on the human health or the animal's health we must understand the function of hemoglobin in our body. What is the function of hemoglobin in our body? It, what is hemoglobin? It is a red color pigment in our body. Hemoglobin, it is required by our body because in lungs when you inhale oxygen or air, that means you are required oxygen. When blood circulates in the lungs, it will carry, the hemoglobin will carry the oxygen from the lungs. We must understand over here that hemoglobin, it is nothing, but it is like a truck. It is a carrier. It will carry the oxygen from the, from the lungs. Here we have shown the hemoglobin which is carrying the oxygen. That means it has loaded the oxygen from the lungs. Oxygen plus hemoglobin. The complex formed is oxyhemoglobin. This hemoglobin when it will travel through our body. Wherever in whichever body cell it is required. It will unload this oxygen over there. It will provide oxygen to those body cells. And it will take away the used up. Uh, the uh, carbon dioxide from here which is a waste material for our body cells and then it will take the carbon dioxide again back to the lungs where it will unload this carbon dioxide and it will again load the oxygen. So this is the function of hemoglobin basically that it is a carrier of oxygen. Over here now the carbon monoxide which is an which we consider as air pollutant this air pollutant it is released due to incomplete combustion of the fuels. So when carbon monoxide it will combine with the hemoglobin whenever the blood it circulates in the lungs and if you have by chance inhaled this carbon monoxide then it this hemoglobin has much greater preference towards carbon monoxide instead of oxygen. 
it will not carry then oxygen it will only load this carbon monoxide and it will not form oxyhemoglobin now it will form the complex which is called carboxy hemoglobin this carboxy hemoglobin that means it will not allow the hemoglobin to carry oxygen that's why it will there it will be unable to transport oxygen to all the body cells and the, there will be then suffocation because of lack of oxygen and it sometimes it also cause death so that's why we should never ever burn any fuel in a closed room or in a closed space because it will lead to incomplete combustion of fuels and it will lead to the production of carbon monoxide the next air uh, the effect of carbon monoxide on plants that it will affect the plant growth and that is why it will lead to leaf drop we will now talk about nitrogen dioxide it is produced due to the combustion of fuels it in animals or in human beings it will cause all the respiratory problems and in plants it will cause retardation in the photosynthesis photosynthesis all of us know that it is an activity for the production of food by the plants now we will talk about smog the third air pollutant smog you must have seen a thick envelope found in the air during winter season that is called fog this fog if it combines with the smoke then it forms the air pollutant which is called smog smog in animals or in human beings it will cause the lungs related diseases like asthma bronchitis that is difficulty in the breathing problems in plants it prevents the sunlight to enter because of smog because of the thick envelope formed by the smog the sunlight it is it will fail to enter into the atmosphere and therefore it will affect the normal functioning of plants the last over here we will talk about in this video is cfc the fourth air pollutant full form of cfc is chloro fluorocarbon this chlorofluorocarbon it is used as refrigerant solvent and in foaming as foaming agent like all the shaving cans which are based on the foaming agents they all release this cfc which is chlorofluorocarbon and it is a very hazardous air pollutant how it affects our environment this has a speciality of decomposing ozone to oxygen we know i know that all of us know that this ozone which is a very protective layer on our inner earth atmosphere it will protect or it will not allow the harmful uv radiation of the sun to enter into the atmosphere so what will happen if it is decomposed to oxygen when it is decomposed to oxygen it will lead to depletion of ozone layer depletion of ozone layer means there will be a hole in the ozone layer and from that ozone that hole of the ozone layer there will be increased amount of the harmful uv radiations uv radiations means ultraviolet radiations that will lead to skin cancer and eye damage to all of us so in today's class or in today's part 1 video of pollution of air we have studied about pollution pollutant what is air pollution what are air pollutants the causes of air pollution and the four main air pollutants carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide smog and cfc how these four are produced in the environment and how what is their effect on animals and on plants please uh, do all the questions related to this in your notes copy and we will be uploading the next video of this chapter part 2 video in our next class thank you